Calling at the wrong time, Fader. I'm finna go on live. I'll holler at you oh, later. Uh, all right, shout out. How y'all doing? This is Big Gene from Raw Deal the Last Big Night. Uh cooking and conversation Uncle Gene cooking and conversation show. Um, uh, I'm doing the show tonight. It's on Chaz Williams, the gentleman gangster. Crenshaw Vett, what's up with you, boy? Melly Mal, Taj, I'm glad you're here working with me tonight. Uh, hope all y'all are doing well out there, man. Uh, today is Chaz Wim's birthday. Uh, it's a lot of people who really miss Chaz. Chaz stopped a lot of beefs in New York City. He helped a lot of people, you know, in the rap game, in the music game, in the street gang life, Chaz was a gentleman's gangster. If you don't know anything about Chaz Wims, uh, they got a movie come out. Uh, I don't know if it's a doc series or just a movie about some of the things that he did in life. And I'm not here today to glorify the 160 banks he robbed. <laughs> no, I'm not here to glorify that. I'm not glorifying the shootouts, though I mention it and everything with the police. But I want to sit here and tell you how all the things that Chaz was facing in life, life in prison without the possibility of parole, and he beat those things and got his sentence overturned. I'm here to glorify the fact that he came out of jail and he, I ain't gonna say, you know, he became a millionaire, but he lived in a millionaire's mansion. <laughs> swimming pool, basketball court. We used to get some of the, the greatest parties I ever went to in my life. There with Chaz. Thank you, Miss Green. I appreciate it. The cash out. Um, Chaz was, I, I, I want to say, he was a type of guy who recognized you as an individual, no matter what kind of work you did. You know what I'm saying? He had people around him 